Okay, the first thing that you need to know uh, for the Pythagorean theorem is uh, first uh, just a few terms and what they mean and how to pronounce them. Um, so first, it's the Pythagorean theorem. Um, it's named after the person who discovered it um, or invented it, um, which is Pythagoras, um, a long, long, long time ago, um, an old Greek dude. Um, so he discovered the Pythagorean theorem. Um, there, there are a few other terms that you see on the screen here that you need to know. Um, first, this applies to any right triangle, and that's probably something that you have heard or already knew of before. Um, and that's it's called a right triangle just because it has a and it has a right angle here. It has a 90 degree angle. So um, the Pythagorean theorem applies to any right triangle. Um, the three sides of that triangle also have different names. So the two sides that make the right angle, this one and this one, those are called legs. Okay. Um, the side that's not one of the sides that makes the right angle, which I'm highlighting in green right now, that's called the hypotenuse. Okay, so if you put all these little all these little things together, that's kind of your uh, pronunciation guide. Um, that goes together to make the word hypotenuse. So we've got leg, leg, and hypotenuse. There are always two legs that make the right triangle or the right angle, and then the one that's across from that is called the hypotenuse. Um, you'll see here a, a formula in just a second that says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The two legs are the a and the b. Whoops, meant to highlight that. The two legs are the a and the b. The hypotenuse is the C, okay? So this right here, this would be C, however long that side is. The length of this side would be A, and the length of this side would be B. I'll show you with some examples. First off, at the top of the your notes sheet here is the actual formula, okay? So you see um, the little diagram here, with the, uh, the A, B, and the C um, off to the left, and then the, um, the formula with the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right. The uh, example that I want to start with is actually example B. In example B, we have six feet for this side, eight feet for that side, and then we don't know this side X. The two, if you look at the two sides we know, those two sides make the right angle. So this would be our A, this would be our B, and the one we don't know is the hypotenuse, which is C. So we're gonna take our formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and we're gonna plug in the two things we know, which are A and B. So six squared plus eight squared equals C squared. Six squared is 36, eight squared is 16, I mean 64, sorry, um, equals c squared. Add those two things you, together, you get 100. Square root both sides, and you get c equals 10. Technically, it's plus or minus 10, but we are talking about a length of something, and something can't be negative 10 feet long. So in this case, our answer is 10 feet, and we solved for the hypotenuse. Okay. Um, I want to go further down the page to another one that we're solving for the hypotenuse. Um, and actually, it looks like maybe we don't have another one of those on this page. Um, you'll see some on the next page. Uh, so just keep that kind of um, that process in mind for when you do these on the practice page. Okay. Um, all of the rest of these, we're given one leg and the hypotenuse, and we're trying to solve for the other leg. So look at A. In example A, we know that this length is 15, and this length is 17. 
This one is the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. This one is a leg because it makes the right angle. That means this would be B, the other leg. So we're going to start by writing A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we know A is 15. We don't know what B is. And we know that C is 17. So we're going to do 15 squared, which is 225. And 17 squared, which is 289. And then I'm going to subtract 280, uh, 225 from both sides. Get B squared equals 64. Square root both sides. And I get B equals 8. So here, X equals, or B, you can write B, 8 centimeters. Okay? All of the rest of example, the examples on this note page, um, we're finding a leg, okay? So you'll notice like the X here is one of the sides that makes that right angle. So this is a leg. So that's gonna, we're gonna be solving for B. Um, same with this one, we're gonna be solving for B. Same with this one, it's part of the right angle. We're gonna be solving for B. And then this one, it's kind of turned a little bit weird. So a lot of people mess this up and, and might think that this is a hypotenuse, but this is actually a leg because it's one of the sides that makes that right angle, okay? Um, so for all the rest of these, we are finding a leg. This would be a great time in the video to um, maybe pause and try these on your own. If you feel like you've understood everything so far um, up to this point, then it might be a good idea to pause, try them on your own, and then come back to the video and see how you did. Uh, otherwise, if you're not quite sure that you can do them on your own yet, just keep following along, okay? So I've copied down the formula for uh, the rest of these. So our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now I'm going to take my a and c and plug them in to the formula. So I've got 24 squared plus b squared equals 26 squared. And then I do some computing and some solving. 576 plus b squared equals 676. And b squared equals 100, so b, whoops, square root, square root, b equals 10. So I have 10 millimeters as my answer there, okay? Um, next one, here's my a, here's c. Again, c is always the hypotenuse. So I have 7 squared plus b squared equals 9 squared. Eighty one minus forty nine is thirty two. And then when you square root thirty two, this is not a perfect square. So this is about five point six six, we'll say. You can round it differently if you want. Uh, inches. For our final answer for that one. Um, the next one, we've got C is 14, A is 12, so 12 squared plus B squared equals 14 squared. That's 144 plus B squared equals 196, and subtract 144 from both sides. And you get B squared equals 52. Square root both sides. 52 is not a perfect square, so we've got a decimal here, and that's about 7 point, we'll just say 2, 1 yards. Okay. And then the last one, we'll do 4 squared plus b squared equals 12 squared.
b squared equals 128 square root. This is not going to be a perfect square. So we're going to round a little bit. We get, we'll say 11.31 um, feet. Okay. Um, if you need to rewind and go back and rewatch any of that, feel free. If you have any questions, um, send me an email. Um, otherwise, if you're good to go, move on to the practice and we'll see how you do.